Hi, I'm Jim Harden, Balloon Twister, and this time we're going to make a sword balloon. We're going to take a silver balloon. Now you can use any color you want, of course, but silver and gold are the most popular colors. I'm going to fill it up till I have maybe a three or four inch tail on the end of it. I'm going to tie a knot in the nozzle. Now I call this my Jack Sparrow special. Jack Sparrow, Pirates of the Caribbean, he comes to me for all his swords. Okay, now we're going to use our apple twist and I'm going to lick my finger and push the nozzle in and I'm going to pinch, grab a hold of the nozzle inside and make what's known as an apple twist or tulip twist. Then we're going to go about, oh, two and a half, well, about a hand, that's going to be our handle, about a hand's width there and twist our balloon. Now we're going to make about an inch and a half bubble. We're going to make a small one inch bubble. We're going to fold it over and make a matching bubble. Now we're going to take our little balloon, our little bubble here, and do a pinch twist. Now on the other side we're going to, oh, about the same length, inch and a half, one inch bubble, fold it over, matching bubble, followed by a pinch twist. Now if you want, if you leave yourself enough room in the balloon, you can actually do a third one. I personally don't, but if you want you can make three and have a third one coming out. Because the problem with that, if you do that, your sword's going to be shorter, all right? So it depends on what you want. If you want a real long sword, then just go with two. If you want a little bit shorter one, you can make a third one. Do it in the same way. And there's our Jack Sparrow special sword. On guard! I'm Jim Harden, and that's how you make a balloon sword. 